Hi there, Sonia here. Welcome back to another episode of the Help I'm Artist podcast. If a total stranger asked you to explain what you do and why you make your art, would you be able to give a clear and concise answer? Or if you would ask two of your best friends to describe you and to describe your art, would they be able to tell you? Would these descriptions be totally different and would they be able to find words to describe you? How do you communicate your art? Are you intentionally artistically vague or are you like me that for a long time I just wanted to express and to follow my heart as an artist My art had to speak for itself, and if people didn't get what I do, it was the viewer that was missing out, and not me. My art was a me, me, me thing. I knew I had to make a shift. If I wanted to have a sustainable career as an artist, I needed to change my tune. Seriously change my tune. I had to get clear about my message, and how I was going to communicate it, and yes, communicated in words. Especially in the social media day and age, we don't only need images to communicate, but we need to find words so we can draw in our viewer and our potential collector and allow them to engage in the best possible way and experience us as artists and our work. If you are an artist, you probably have a website, a place where you communicate about yourself and about your art. What words do you use to explain what you do? How do you describe your work? You have a unique story, but because you are so intertwined with your art, it's sometimes difficult to articulate your emotional process or possibly the intellectual process behind your work. And writing an artist statement is one way of putting words to this process. Writing an artist statement is a powerful thing It helps you dig down and get to the core values of what drives you and who you are and what you're making. So yes, this podcast is all about how to write an artist statement. But let's first define what is an artist statement. An artist statement is an introduction to you, to you as an artist and to your body of work. It reflects what really matters to you and clarifies and describes the intent behind you and your art and will guide the viewer through an honest and full experience of your work. It's an added dimension. Now what an artist statement is not, it's not a long-winded or a complicated or confusing or vague repetition of what's already on your website. No, an artist statement is engaging. It articulates you who you are as an artist and why you make the work that you do and what drives you and what you have to say. What is your unique story and how do you tell it? You can write an artist statement generally about you or about your overall body of work or there are moments that you need to write a statement about a certain project or a commission you're working on for a gallery or for a show or it's how you present yourself on internet a statement clarifying who you are and what you're doing. There are many reasons to have an artist statement. Here are a few. When you write an artist statement and really put thought into that which moves you, that's important to you, you are making choices. You have decided to take yourself seriously and move out of the amateur mindset and into a more professional attitude. You decide that you take yourself seriously. And if you take yourself seriously, guess what? Others will take you seriously too. An artist statement makes you legit. It gives you value and adds credibility to what you do. It's like an official document. It's a statement. It's a coming out. It makes it clear and it makes it seen that what you do and what you stand for. It's also one of the first documents gallery owners or agents look at when they see your work. They want to know, does this artist have anything to say? And how does he or she communicate it? Do they have a conviction? What do they stand for? Remember that agents and galleries and editors, their success rides on communication. They want to promote and to sell your work. 
So the more precise and the more clear you are about your work and how you communicate it, the stronger the reason is to partner with you. Make their work easy. Provide them with a clear statement, with a clear picture of who you are and what you're doing. They'll love you for it. Another reason is that when you're putting words to what you're feeling, it'll help you too as a mirror and it'll help you in your own creative flow. If you've defined what you do and why you do it, and you've put it into words and you've made a statement, it'll prevent you from being overwhelmed by all the possibilities that present themselves. When you're Googling for inspiration online, or you're looking at Pinterest boards, or you're seeing new materials and the possibilities of a new art form, you can look at your art and statement and say, this is who I am, this is what I stand for, and does that new technique or the new possibilities that present themselves edify and add to that which I stand for. It's a good framework for you and good to reflect on. And of course, a statement can change through the years as you evolve as an artist, but the basis, the core, will describe your values and what you stand for. And it's a valuable document that you have when an artist block comes. Because when you feel uninspired and you feel that you just can't create, it's good to have a look and say, okay, this is why I decided to take a career as an artist, why I'm doing it full time, why I need to make some sacrifices. It really describes your motive and your, your motivations and it makes it clear. And it's good to have it in your studio somewhere that you can look at it and it really is like a blueprint that you can reflect on. Being a successful artist is all about connection. If you want to sell your art, you need to nurture this connection with a potential collector or a potential art buyer. And communicating and clarifying your intent and the reason behind your art will maximize this experience with the would-be buyer who wants to see you and who wants to know more about your art. They're not just going to open up their wallets and spend thousands of dollars and euros or pounds to buy your art. Because the collector wants to have a feeling that they know you and that they can trust you and that you're a good investment and they want to confirm that they're making the right decision. Your artist statement will introduce them to you and to your message and the clearer you are, the easier it will be for someone to trust you and to like you and to connect with you and possibly eliminate any doubts about investing in your art. And then there's social media. In order to have effective and completed social media accounts, we need to fill out a profile. Whether you're on LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter, Instagram or Pinterest, the first bit of information visitors see on these platforms is your profile picture and your profile description. What you write here and the words that you use really matter. They really can be a defining factor. And when you've thoughtfully written an artist statement and you've really chewed through and you've concluded what your core values are and what matters to you, these words, this description, that what you've put in your artist statements can be a great tool to filter out how to write and compose these social media profiles, adding clear descriptions and helping to communicate a uniform and strong statement making it clear of who you are and what you're doing. So an artist statement is very diverse. It's a document that really you can glean from for many opportunities. So it's so worth writing it. And with all the old ways of selling and buying falling away, there are endless opportunities online to sell your work through platforms and through different online shops, through your own website. And in order to do this successfully, you need to be found in this big jungle and through the search engines and through Google. And one way to use these search engines effectively is to have a clear message. Search engines hate confusion. I can just see the search engines going crazy when they come onto a confused website, not knowing in which hole to put you. But if you communicate clear keywords on your website, it's very clearly and concisely written, your artist statement is online, it's very clear what you're doing, and they'll know exactly how to put you in the algorithms. And with these clean and clear keywords, you'll be able to be found by your potential customer and your potential buyer. So writing a clean and clear and having a clear statement really adds how you're found on internet. And the clearer you are on your words, 
and in your communication online, the quicker you will be found. And this is far easier to market your work. The words that you use in your statements can be words that you adopt as keywords as you communicate them online, on posts or creating hashtags around them and even help you to arrange your Pinterest boards or for titles for your blogs or for podcasts. And have it ready. You never know when an opportunity may present themselves. Maybe you'll get phone tonight or tomorrow for an interview or for a guest speaking event or to write a guest blog. And if you have your artist statement ready, you'll have exactly what you need. You know your framework, you know how you're going to communicate and what you're going to communicate and what you stand for. And when they ask you, can you just send a little bit more information about yourself? You have it there, right there ready. It's not a document or a statement you want to write after you've worked endless sleepless nights on a collection, making paintings or getting your new album out. And then the agent says, please, can you still send me some press because I need to get it off to the newspapers and the and the local uh, press want to have an interview with you and I need to send them information can you please send it tonight and you're just tired and you can't find the words and it's not the right time to write it and if you have it ready you have like a press kit that you know this is what I can send you can just uh, add it to as an attachment and you get all your communication out and having that document ready will really give you confidence Confidence how to communicate and what to communicate about that what you're doing. So really, I can't edify enough. Have an artist statement. Spend time writing down what you are and what you're doing. It's difficult to write an artist statement. I totally admit writing about yourself in the first place, getting to the core to find words about the things that are so deep and the things you feel so deeply, to get words for that is it's difficult. But find help, ask people that are good with words, and as you write, read them out aloud. I've made a special resource uh, for you to download to help you in this. So to give you a framework of how to write an artist statement, what opening sentences that you can use so you really can grab the attention and start off strong with a good opening sentence, with a good description of who you are and put it into the right and concise words. In this resource, I've got a framework that you can use that will help you to, to write very systematically and to formulate uh, your artist statements. It's important to have a consistent style. I see so many artist statements and also content online where people go from the first person and then go to the third person and it's all mixed up and it can be very confusing to read. So if you choose the first or the third person, some people have prefer the first person or some the third person, but make and choose a style and do it consistently and use an active style of writing, not in an old stuffy way, but make it active and engaging so people want to read and make it authentic. Don't uh, think, oh, I need to use big artistic words, but find your own words to convey your enthusiasm and your passion and uh, communicate what keeps you up at night or what really ticks you off and how this reflects on your art. Try and find words for that what you're feeling and pe what people are seeing in your art. It's like it has to be an extension of your art. So uh, yeah, it takes some time and it takes some hard work, but it's so rewarding if you have that statement done and set. Then it's it's such a good framework to uh, to reflect on. Include facts about your art. What materials do you use and how did you use them and how did you make your art piece and why you made it? Also possibly add some achievements that you uh, have had. Don't be shy about the things that you've done. It's not that you're bragging or you're boasting, but just be very yeah, clear. And if it's relevant to your uh, statement, just write the things that you've achieved and it'll edify and add value to that what you're saying. And tell people more about yourself behind the scenes, something personal, maybe a story. Write a short anecdote of something that happened, someone that came into the gallery or someone that heard your song or was confronted by your art and they said and then reflect on that and just write something personal and be short and concise. Just a few paragraphs, say between 250 and 350 words. The art is to keep it interesting without overwhelming the reader. You can always redirect people to a separate page uh, if they're interested to read more. But in the first hand, you want to keep it engaging and not too long. Remember, people have a short attention span. They're busy with a million things and you need to grab them and keep their attention. And make it interesting and easy to read. Not very difficult sentence structures that people are scratching their head and say, where is this going? I don't understand it. But give your statements a clear structure and a flow. 
and pay attention to how the sentences and words join like there's that they're natural bridges that you can lead the reader from one thought to another so it's logical and here again a tip is to read it out aloud to yourself or have someone else read it uh, that's close to you have a few people read it actually and just ask them is it clear does this reflect who I am do you recognize myself and my art in what you're reading a statement I see as an is like an invitation for the viewer you inviting them to take a closer look you're drawing them into your world into your head and into your heart and you want to engage in a conversation with them it's not just a list of facts it's something that is engaging you want to really allow them to enter into the conversation or maybe them for them to see things differently or maybe they you're giving them insights that they've never considered before and your statement is like an open door you're welcoming in the viewer into the conversation about you and about your art and take time to write it find a place with peaceful write down maybe in a few days key words just write them down and and start thinking about how you can put them into sentences and you can only do that when you're rested when you're rush and you have a deadline that's a bad time to write your art or statement and in the resource that I mentioned I've put down like a framework of writing down who you are and what you are and why you're doing it and how you can formulate that into a statement so have a look at that resource and it's there for you to download for free and it'll give you just a good outline of uh, where to start because I agree it can be overwhelming there's so many things we feel and we are, are convinced about passionate about and to get those in, things into words it's difficult but these exercises they will help you and it also helps to look at other artists statements I love reading artist statements it says so much about an artist and what they believe in and what they're passionate about and what words they use and what kind of framework do they use so online there's hundreds and thousands of artist statements and go to the artists that you really love or admire that you've seen on Instagram or that you've come across at a gallery and go and look on their websites and just see do they have an artist statement and if they have one how is it written is it in the third person or the uh, the first person what descriptive words they use how is it built up what's the beginning do they have a powerful opening sentence and uh, does it lead you through stories are there anecdotes so you can learn so much about uh, other people's statements so really take the time to look at other artist statements in that free resource I'll add some of my favorite artist statements I've selected a few of uh, artists that I really admire and uh, not only their art but also their statements and how they use words and describe art so uh, you can head over to my website and take that special resource for you to download and there you can see the examples to access this resource you can go to www.sonyasmallhair.com slash artist statements. I hope this podcast has given you a better insight as to what an artist statement is and the advantages of an artist statement and that the framework will help you to write your statement so that you can take your art to the next level, have a very professional attitude in the things that you do, have a clean clear message, communicate online and offline so that you really can draw your audience in so they can get the full experience of your art and really get to know you. That's all for this week. Thanks so much for listening and see you again next time. Bye for now.